What's up guys? I know that you're probably sick of me talking to the camera in my living room, but um, obviously I haven't trained today. And uh, Usually Sunday is a big <coughs> check-in and program day uh, for, for my clients, for the team. And um, also I just wanted to make a recap of... Uh, of the week, uh, I think I had a few realizations this week that partly already shared, but at the back of that, I also made some decisions in terms of my own personal development. I realized that in the last few months, I've been focusing a lot on, uh, I've been in, basically in, in survival mode, just trying to rebuild um, the business at the back of a big loss that I had at the end of last year and uh, in the beginning of the, this year as well. So I haven't really been focusing on my own process. And on one side, I think that it's, uh, that it's normal whenever you have a lot of other priorities that could be, you know, personal life rela related or uh, in my case, related to the business or just training clients. But I think it is vital to our own overall health and wellness and growth for us to have some personal goals and to focus on self-development. And I definitely haven't been doing much of that recently. So I came up with a bit of a plan in terms of my own fitness journey and the things that I want to achieve in the next few months, basically up until the end of the year. So first of all, in the next eight to 10 weeks, I'm going to be focusing on progressively increasing my energy expenditure and increasing my calories as well. For me, improving my cardiovascular fitness right now is an absolute priority. And I definitely want to start including that a lot more in my routine, as well as increasing my step count. I'm definitely gonna need a lot of calories to be able to retain uh, strength and muscle mass especially as I'm going to be increasing the cardio. At the end of these 10 weeks, I'm expecting my physique to be a lot fuller. Body fat should be more or less the same at the back of having increased the cardio, but I will definitely be a lot fitter. Definitely in a much better position to start a mini cut towards summer. Throughout summer, I'll be cutting slash maintaining, depending on how much I'll be traveling, but I'm counting on going back into a calorie surplus around September time into the end of the year. In terms of training, I'm still gonna keep it six days a week with the sessions being a little bit shorter, but I'm planning on keeping the same amount of volume or similar to what I had last week. And obviously periodize it depending on how much I manage to push food up, which to be honest with you, is going to be the hardest thing for me. And with that being said, I also decided to change my schedule around and to keep my evenings solely for training, filming, and editing. So I won't be separating my cardio and my weight sessions for now. I'm gonna keep everything together, but I'm gonna dedicate it a lot more time overall throughout the week. This means that I'll be sacrificing an, on a little bit of extra work that I could be picking up, but I definitely feel like I need to prioritize my own self-development right now. Otherwise, I'll always feel like I'm getting stuck, even in terms of the progress with the business and helping other clients. It's all well and good that I'm in shape and I kind of look the part, but I'm not really walking the walk if I'm not aspiring for more, if I'm not pushing for more progress and I'm not asking more of myself physically and mentally. So yeah, I really do believe that that will help me synergistically with everything else. And I also think that's the ingredient that's been missing for me at least recently. I've been doing a lot of reflection and I'm not disappointed with myself. Things had to go this way. I know that it was needed for me to focus on some other things that were obviously a lot more urgent at the time. But right now, I'm definitely in a position where I can stop pushing things forward and I can stop living in survival mode. And realistically, if I decide to get stuck here, it's my own decision. And what this week made me realize at the back of my body asking me for a break is that it's actually all in the palm of my hands. And it's me deciding over my life and over my future. I am not a victim of my own routine. I created this routine. And of course I have the power to turn things around when it comes to my health and my own goals. I'm posting this to obviously to keep you guys in the loop. There's not many of us watching this, but <laughs> you watching, I really ap appreciate you being here. And at the same time, I'm posting this for my own accountability, to hold me accountable. The other day we talked about conscientiousness, so I cannot make a statement like this and then not follow through and not make it happen, right? So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel a great deal, uh, you know, I don't feel amazing in my body right now, but I think it was definitely needed and I'm ready for this new chapter. Together with that, I'm also planning on traveling a little bit more in the next few months. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me every step of the way. So thank you so much again for watching and for being here. If it's your first time watching one of my videos, I'm posting one vlog a day for a year straight. So don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you tomorrow.